Welcome everyone. Look, um, so as you can see today is a bad hair day. Many things have been going wrong this month. It has been an interesting time. I, I can't fix this. This is just going to be one of those. Look, it's just like cranky. Look, that the content that you were not ready for. I need to get a hat for situations. I don't know how to fix this. Maybe I'll just go have a, I don't know, iron my hair correctly. It's going to bother me the whole video, but it is what it is. Now, Road to Virtuoso, I'm checking in with y'all. Um, we're like, we're getting through July. We're almost at the end of July. Um, a lot has been happening uh, on the back end uh, from, from my side when it comes to content creation and all that stuff. Uh, but I'm just giving you guys an update on where, where, where everything is at just for people who are either part of our online music school community, um, people who are part of the streaming community, my content community, or people around who just pay attention to what I do um, because you're awesome. So <laughs> this is what's going on. Um, basically, the past six weeks has been a bit of a like lots of things have been like curveballs have been thrown my way um uh i really hate the whole victim mentality so i try not to like think about it too much but it has been intense uh and all that has done has been like all right cool reassuring that you know i keep i'm on the right path things are working uh we're going to keep moving forward um and you just you're like all right cool this is an opportunity to build resilience you know when things are challenging and then you go hard and then on top of that, the biggest challenge hasn't even arrived yet, which is uh, our son's born in like a week or two. Uh, we don't know. We're we're on the countdown now. Um, but I'm going to try and make this one as fast as possible. I don't want to like chat about heaps of stuff, but I just wanted to kind of like download everything that's going on in my head uh, for you guys. Uh, I know some of you like to know what's going on because sometimes they, there's been a couple of missed streams here and there, and I've been super consistent since the start of the year. Um, full transparency uh just shit has been happening and it's been like really 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 hard um uh i've been like doing crazy amounts of shows uh like i've been super sick there was a week that i just got absolutely destroyed um and i've like couldn't get out of bed or anything like that um and but what that did do was it gave me one week to actually like take a step back and and coincidentally that week that it happened, I also had just joined a content academy, which was like a um, it's a YouTube uh, community course where you learn everything about YouTube uh, and you get coached uh, by a really, really talented YouTube coach called Nolan Malt, who used to work for Think Media. So um, it's been awesome. Uh, and it was also very, very awesome to watch what a high ticket community looked like. And basically, like, I had to really sit down when I joined the community to realign all my goals. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, my goal is to become an exceptional musician and then build that skill set up till I eventually write a hit song. Now, a lot of the things I was doing were not servicing that goal. I was kind of getting distracted by shiny object syndrome, which is like, oh, people are telling me I should do this. People tell me I should do this. Oh, I'll do that. And um, now I've like really like honed it down. Like this is the only thing I'm going to do. So I've come back to my roots of like, let's practice, let's go hard, let's do our thing. Um, and then also we had built this whole uh, coaching community. Um, and one thing that I did was I just, I was like, I made it look like, what does it look like if it does like minor, like it does kind of well, what does it look like if it's, it's pretty good? And then what does it look like if it's exceptional? And then like, how long can I sustain all three versions of that? And so for me, I was like, you know what? It's not going to work because if I were to actually have it crush and it was amazing, um, I would have to hire people. I would be running like a business on its own. I would have to have other teachers around. I would have to be putting in like 30, 40 hours a week where I want that 30, 40 hours a week to go into songwriting, uh, demo production, and just me practicing my craft. Um, because I something's going to give. It's either family or the stream, and I'm not going to compromise the stream or family. Like, no way. Um, they're like the things that I want to, like, that's my dream. Like, I want to be able to walk into the studio at like 9 a.m. and all I do is play music until 5 and then I peace out and that's my life Monday through Friday and then on Saturday, Sunday, I hang out with my family and maybe we do occasional big shows. Um, like that's that's my dream. Like if I can pull that off, uh, well, that's the dream I currently have right now. Uh, you know, 
there's the saying you like you're living uh <laughs> you're living you're living the life that you dreamed of before and it's true like i have an amazing life um you know i've got all these cool gadgets and we're absolutely crushing it so from that perspective i can't be mad um i am though like I got to get it done, got to get it done. You know, baby boy's about to arrive. I want to have all the ducks in a row. And the truth is, I don't think you ever really get the ducks in a row. So this is me kind of like surrendering to like, hey, you know, there's family stuff that's happening that's hard. There's like work stuff that's happening that's hard. And, you know, like <laughs> literally two days ago, my car broke down. I, I, I was just saying how amazing my car's been and no problems or anything. And then on Wednesday, it just, it, would, it died. Poor, poor, poor car. Um, so that's already in the shop and hopefully we get good news and it's not like a three or $4,000 fix. That would be very nice. Um, I'm very much looking forward to it. Pray for me. Um, uh, anyway, so that's how we're at now. Um, big changes that have happened, uh, regarding like how I was looking at, like how I was looking at my accelerated paid community. Basically, all we've done is we've just taken that whole community that I built and that whole teaching structure and we've put it in our free community. We're consolidating both and you're going to get that all for free. So anyone who is part of the free community, um, the way that the feedback structure works, I will be updating the training videos very soon. Um, you will learn exactly how it works. You can get feedback on your practice immediately if you want. Um, I don't want to gatekeep that. Um, it's an amazing tool. I've been watching huge success happen with the people who are part of the accelerated. So that's what my goal is with that. And then if there's going to be some form of financial like kickback that I will receive, I have just basically been like, you know, look, if you want to buy my time, this is how much my time's worth for a one hour coaching call. We put it up there and then I've, you can buy a package of three. So like if anyone is like, hey, I actually just really want to sit down with you one on one. I want you to work through all my problems. I'm like, hell yeah, let's go. We can do that for you. And so that's how we're going to do it. It's going to make the business very, very like cut and dry, less admin. I don't have to hire anyone. I don't have to do like community management or anything like that. So it's going to be very good. Um, it's going to allow me to to give you guys as much uh, feedback and growth as possible towards your, um, your musical journeys. And then it's also going to allow me to have enough time to keep growing my skill set as a musician, which is my priority uh, when, to my work. Um, so that's been very, very cool. Um, we're also doing a feedback Friday thing. Today's the second one. Um, I haven't seen anyone post on there, so it might be a super chill feedback Friday where I don't have to do anything except I just sing songs. And it's going to be cool because I haven't sung songs for like three days, which is going to be fantastic. Um, now the other thing that we did, which was really, really cool. Um, this is not like important really for the stream. Well, it kind of is, but, um, for me, it's been trying to figure out how can I operationalize uh, my business that I currently have that has been able to support me doing this, which is me performing weddings, corporates, and all that stuff and gigging. So right now, so far, I haven't been gigging um, pub shows, which are the like really like low paying gigs, but they're like, you just like, you go brain dead and you just perform for like three or four hours and like you get paid you know, like 400 bucks a show or something, 500 bucks a show. But anyway, we've been able to grow the wedding. So I'm not, I haven't been doing any of that. I might have to jump, jump back in there in October if uh, if like the online stuff doesn't work yet. I'm like, I'm going to do whatever it takes to make it work. Like th it, this is happening. It If we can make it work a little bit, it means it's there. So we just need to stick it out. And if it takes two, three, five years, whatever it takes, I said 1,000 streams. We're going to get it done. Um, I think we can pull it off within 1,000. And we're almost at 200. So we've seen huge growth before 200. So I'm very, very keen to see what 1,000 will look like. So basically, it's been really cool. I've hired um, my sister-in-law, and she has been taking over the bookings. So I have been going super, super hard. <laughs> it's literally her right now talking about a booking. Um, so I have been trying to figure out exactly how to structure everything and operationalize it to make it super easy for her. Um, and then also I don't have to be on and I don't have to message clients. I don't have to do anything. The only times that I'm there is when I perform and when they need me uh, for like hard questions or things like that to make them feel like super excited about whatever their event, event is. So we're, we're really, really close to having that completely done. And then that means um, we're going to have more funds to help support this 
uh, this whole process. The band is going to be more um, available, so they'll try and come into the studio a bit more often. Um, and then also uh, my time is going to be free. We're looking at like, I think there's about like 10 or 15 hours at least, at least 10 or 15 hours of work that I have eliminated. So that is pretty cool, 10 or 15 hours per week. So being able to take that and put it back into um, the content creation stuff, it has been a bit of a grind, but we're almost there. We're very much on like, that's about, I think I'm about like less than 10 hours of work remaining on that part to have it finished, which is so cool. And then the final thing is just the uh, the courses need to get done. So. Um, the thing that's been holding up the courses uh, being updated, especially the content creator course, all those things, um, full transparency is like, I've just been sick. Uh, I have had heaps of shows. So when I have heaps of shows lined up, I can't record lots of videos because if I'm talking and recording lots of videos, sometimes I can't do it in one take. I have to do like two or three takes. So that's like me talking for like, some of these videos go for like 20, 30 minutes. It's like an hour of talking. It really, really wrecks your voice. Then I have to go and play all weekend and I have, and I, these people are paying. I don't want to have like a bad voice. I want to be exceptional in every single time I'm on a stage. So that's, that's where we're at right now. Um, then the last thing that has been holding it up is uh, the actual studio space that I work in um, was an office space uh, that um, my wife's business, they, they used to own this business, a frozen, frozen food company. They closed it down and then they sold the factory so the new owners have taken over the place. Um, and originally I was just going to be renting out this whole space and I didn't have to do anything. Uh, but their plans changed literally last week. So we've had to hook in and completely change all of our storage spaces and everything. So it's been like pretty full on trying to set up the whole studio, which it's almost done. So I think all I have to do is sell a couple of pieces of furniture on Marketplace, but everything has been like, um, shelves bought, set up all the studios, like storage space where all the gear goes and everything. So it's been a bit of a challenge, but we're almost there. So, um, but we get cheaper rent, so it's great. <laughs> so we are very, 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 very close to having ducks in a row. It's just that, um, I kind of need to do this video just for me to like, be like, oh, actually things are working out because one of the big tall tale signs for me, like I've learned to realize like, oh, when I crave playing a video game or like I really, really, really want to go back and play a video game, it's like, okay, Luan, you're hitting the point of overwhelm where you're just getting a lot of information coming in and you're like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, escape. So like usually for me, I don't know what your guys' escapes are, but for me, like the best things to get my mind off everything is either watching anime or is playing uh, a video game. And right now I've been hard on Zelda. Like I've never played Zelda properly before. So um, I've been on Breath of the Wild chain uh, train and I've been trying to finish the master mode. So I'm like trying to do the hardest thing on the game as possible. And that's been really good to like help me chill and Zen out. Surprisingly, you know, you're like dying. You're like, what the hell? But that's me Zenning. Like that's me like totally Zenning. I don't know if anyone else feels like that when they're like doing something really hard on a video game, but that's where we're at. So things are happening. Um, so I just want to let you guys know, um, if you are seeing inconsistency, uh, in my YouTube posts, you're seeing inconsistency on streams where I'm having to change streams last minute. That is, life is actually crazy right now, um, especially crazy for what I'm able to, to handle. And it's only gonna get crazier once baby boy arrives. But usually around like four to six weeks after our baby boy arrives, um, it should be, like we should have established some form of routine so I will be able to actually at least the streaming will be consistent. I don't know how consistent the content releases will be because it'll be like, I'll be, and, and as well, if you're part of our school community, post videos and stuff for feedback because I will literally be up at like 2.30, 4 in the morning, 3 in the morning doing like the late night feeds and taking care of my baby boy who's just born and I will have nothing to do <laughs> except look after him. So I can put on my headphones and I can listen to your videos and give you guys feedback. So um, it'll be super fun to engage with you guys in the community. So that's what's up. Uh, you know, we're the road to virtuoso was a series that I built because I wanted to document my journey to becoming a virtuoso, which is like uh, an exceptional musician, a master of music. Um, and, 
this is one of the biggest parts. Like if you're someone, because we have a lot of people who are wanting to learn music and get into music and become build careers, in order for you to be able to take the time to do the thing that gets you the thing, you need to have a business. You need to have some form of income. Now, like you can either have parents pay for you if you're really young and that's fantastic. Make sure you're practicing. Don't take that for granted. That time that your parents are giving you right now, room and board, things like that, where you don't have to be spending like $1,000, $2,000 a week to live, um, take care of a family and all that stuff. That, don't take it for granted. That means just sit down and grind and work really, really hard. Shout out to like, you know, Caleb and Simon or anyone who's trying to like make it in our community um, and build their beginnings of their careers. So just do that. Um, Work really, really hard. But for anyone else who like you have bills to pay, you have a family to take care of and things like that. um, Really take the time to learn how to build a business that's going to allow you to work on the thing that matters the most. So I put so much time into building a business where I only have to work Friday to Sunday. Now, if I work Friday to Sunday on the business that pays for all of our bills, then that means I've got Monday through Thursday, which is like pretty much like in the mornings, Monday through Sunday as well. Like I work pretty much every day on the content creation side. Um, And being able to build that business has allowed me to do this. And now this will eventually make money to then cover all the expenses. So it's going to allow me to pick and choose the shows that I want. So then we will just do country nights and we will just do cool events. We will live stream shows, do things like that. So then like this thing feeds the content creation, then the content creation will feed this thing. So then this thing can be even more exceptional because we can, we don't have to like focus on profitability. We just literally focus on making an exceptional product, like bring in more band members and pay for their rehearsals and things like that. And like get like better production and better, like we can just do crazy cool shit. So it's like you build one thing that makes money, then you build the other thing that makes more money, which is more scalable, and then you scale the crap out of this one, which was going to be so hard to scale on its own. So that's kind of how I'm working like the whole business side of it. And I would recommend that anyone trying to build a career in music, think about it that way um, because the last thing you want to do is have to get a nine to five job and then have to do your gigging thing and then you can't build the thing that you might really, really want to build or like work on songwriting or doing things like that. Um, anyway, I'm going to close off this video and quickly pick up Sarah and then she's going to drop me off because we only have one car. So <laughs> I got to drive, pick her up and then she's going to drop me off back in the studio. So then hopefully I can stream for y'all. Anyway, lovely to see y'all. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll have another video sometime soon. Um, sorry about my hair. Uh, it, it, it makes me ang- angry too. So <laughs> all right, see you guys on the stream. Let's go.